WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup for the 4 p.m. Stock Market Update. I am filling in for Tom O'Brien. I believe he will be back tomorrow. Let's take a look at where everything shaked out today. Uh, you know, slightly sideways to the downside. Yeah. ES Mini off about 0.2%, Russell off about 0.8%, uh, NQs off 0.6%, Dow Futures essentially uh, flat, trading just under 39,000. Uh, gold contract hanging steady as well, flat about 2,043. Uh, silver, of course, at 2,267. Copper at $3.80. Of course, we went through all of this and we haven't seen much of a change uh, since the program. Dollar uh, did crack below 104, but we're trading just right up under that at 103.93. So we'll see if we can get some uh, some loosening in that. Okay, this is funny. Wendy's. Sure, Tommy has spoken about it, uh, or people have just chatted about it a little bit, but I just think it's so kind of bizarre, but also kind of interesting. Uh, and this is their dynamic pricing, basically. It says it won't raise prices during surge hours is called surge pricing right so like during hours of really high demand or foot traffic you increase the price and this is you know it's kind of a way it, that's kind of it's kind of messed up a little bit but it's just how it works right um i, I don't know why they're doing it then right like that's kind of my my question if you're not putting in this kind of surge pricing or dynamic pricing uh or increasing prices at, at high demand times. I mean, I don't know if you just have like this slow floating thing. I, I don't know if the components they use float like that. I'm sure they probably have contracts and everything. Uh, so I think it's interesting. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, digital menu boards could allow us to change the menu offerings at different times of the day and offer discounts and value offers to customers more easily, particularly in slower times of the day. Interesting, right? Not usually what this is kind of used for. You see it a lot in like taxi services or like Uber and everything that just kind of increase the price during high demand, right? I mean, you see it even, you know, when you have some, uh, <laughs> ignore the green screen. No, when you know you gotta go to Tampa or something like that during a big event, uh, I mean, prices are like insane. Anyways, interesting to see Wendy's do something like this. Uh, definitely propels it into a different layer than some of the other fast food joints. Anyways, pretty interesting. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, it was fantastic. I believe Tom will be back tomorrow. We have Tommy at 9 a.m. for the morning market kickoff, and we have Basil. I believe Steve will be back, Larry, and then Tom. Have a great rest of your day.